So we're going to talk about a somewhat controversial or misunderstood exercise, the step up. Now there's different ways to do a step up and the most common step up you're going to see in gyms is Alex will demonstrate will be a step up in which there's a big amount of forward shin displacement, the torso is uh, bent forward and there's sometimes some pushing up with the back leg. Now the thing is with this step up it's fine if your only purpose with your step up is to work the VMO because we know that the vastus medialis oblique is targeted in the bottom range of a split squat for instance or the end range of a step up like a Pollockian step up or a Peterson step up. So okay if that's your purpose it's fine but at Kilo the reason why we use the step up is more as a precursor to your back squat. Okay, So in order for the step up to help translate somewhat to your back squat. To have a great back squat, you need to back squat, but this exercise will still help to a certain level transfer better to your back squat. Now, the way you do this is you're putting your, your foot on the platform. Now, a, a perfect step up, you want your femur to be parallel to the ground. That would be the ideal height. Now, if you don't have the strength to do it, you can start lower, it's fine, and you just built up height uh, before you start building up low, okay? Because a lot of issues you're gonna see in the step up with people who are too weak to go too high, is there's gonna be a lot of shift at the hips. People are gonna kick the hips outward to help assist. So if you see this during your step up, you should just go lower. Now, let's get back to the proper technique. So the proper technique, the shin, there will be a little bit of forward movement, but it should be minimized. The torso, forward movement should be minimized as well. Now, to prevent pushing off with the back leg, you want to lift the toes of the back leg. By doing so, it's going to help you prevent from pushing off. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that as you're doing your step up, you go straight up. But the problem is because you're going straight up and there's minimal forward movement, gravity would push you down right away. So it's impossible if you're doing this version of step up to do a controlled eccentric. So by default, every time you do a step up, the tempo should be one, zero, one, zero. Okay, so Alex will demonstrate three reps. So you see the shin moves forward slightly. There's minimal forward movement at the torso and she's basically going straight up and down. Now, the reason why we like this version of the step up better is because it allows you co-contraction and co-activation of the glutes and hamstring to aid into the push. So it, then it, it's not just a quad exercise, but it's a more complete lower body exercise. And if you think about it, if you look at it this way too, we like the split squat because the split squat kind of mimics the bottom position of the back squat, but the step up mimics the transition going from above parallel to the end range. So when you're doing a squat and you're clearing up, you're clearing the, the parallel portion, what happens at that point in time is you're trying to push your knees back and torso up, okay? Once you're past 90 degrees, the shin is not forward anymore, the torso is not forward, you're not in this position. You're trying to go from the transition from shin forward to shin back and torso upright. Okay, so that's what you're trying to mimic with the step up. Okay, three more reps, straight up, no pushing off. Perfect. So you can use dumbbells, barbell in the back, or if you're really advanced, barbell in the front as if you were doing a front squat. 